Hey guys, what's up? So the other day I did an unboxing of the MSI GTX 770 Lightning Edition graphics card. So this is MSI Afterburner. It's an overclocking utility and it's amazing. It's actually very functional. It doesn't look great, but it is functional. Um, so some an amazing user in the comments um, actually told me their configuration and then I PM'd him and he actually gave me a link to the fully unlocked version of MSI Afterburner. So I'll put the link to that in the description. Um, and I'll put a link to his channel in the in the description as well. He doesn't do technology videos, but credit where credit's due, it will be in the description. So this is the um, the MSI Afterburner Unlocked Utility. Like I said, the link will be in the description. You want to hit Settings after it's installed and Unlock Voltage Control. This will allow you to um, up the voltage so the core stays stable. And I'm going to go three three modes here. I'm going to go one, you, what you should do. Um, two, what I do, and three, you could do, don't do. So, um, the cool voltage, we're going to go to plus 25. Um, power limit, we're going to go to plus 105, just because that's the max what it is on um, the original MSI afterburner. That's just what it is. Uh, the cool clock, we could probably go plus 50, and memory, we can probably go plus 200 and select apply. Leave fan speed on automatic because this will compensate if it being if it is too hot it will know it's too hot and slam the fans up and cool it down so it doesn't throttle. Um, we're then going to open up a stress test utility of your choice. Mine is MSI Combustor because it's just easy um, and it gives the same um, results and it doesn't take very long to get kicked in and started. So we're going to select um, direct 3D11 in the GPU burn-in and then settings, we're going to turn on 8x anti aliasing and your screen resolution. And once you've set the um, overclock settings, make sure you've hit apply and start the GPU burn in test. This will start a massive uh, tessellation test, um, which is basically, yeah, this combustor test. And you can see in the corner here, we have GPU load is at 100%, basically. It doesn't go any higher. And sorry, the room's dark as well. I'm recording the screen, so everything looks really crap. Um, the GPU temp's at 56 degrees, and it's climbing. Of course it is. And if we go over to these little numbers in the corner here, and you should be able to see it. If you go full screen on your monitor, you'll be able to see them. But the power is at 55% of the TDP, or 56%. The core is now at 1254 megahertz, and the memory is at 37 02 megahertz. Now, if you don't know what the originals are, I'll put them up on screen. But the original core is um, 1215 megahertz on the core and 3500 megahertz on the memory. So I'll put those on the screen too. And you can see we've got a nice little chunky overclock. The CPU temps uh, do go pretty high. So if you can see here, um, mine never used to go above 58 ish, and now they're hitting 63, 64 degrees. Um, and they will keep rising. So you want to do this test for about 10 minutes and just let it run through and you'll probably get your maximum temperature. Once you have done that and it's stable, then try out a couple of games. So for example, Battlefield 3, Grand Theft Auto 4 with the Ice Enhancer mod would be a good, uh, a good choice. You can also probably do Far Cry 3 and quite a few other games like that. So any games you play, try them, see if they're stable and if they are, then boom, you're good to go. Now I'm going to also now show you my uh, setup. So I have plus 50 on the core voltage. Um, I have 105 on the power limit. Plus I usually have plus 125 on the core clock, and I usually have plus 400 on the memory. I don't know why that isn't saved. But this is what I do, and um, you could probably do it, but it's just me because it gives me 60 uh, FPS fully in um, GCA4 Ice Enhancer, which is which is brilliant for me. So again, you're gonna to wanna to open up a program like Combustor and do a 10 minute test to find your max GPU temp. If it goes above, I'm gonna say 75 degrees, that's when you wanna probably stop. If it's hitting 75 degrees, stop. If it's going up to 80, then tone it down a bit. Turn down the core voltage, turn down the core clock, the memory clock, and try and get it stable at a lower um, speed because that's just too high. Now with uh, NVIDIA's GTX um, 700 series, there is quite a few um, overclocking utilities. So we pull this to the side and open up um, EVGA Precision here, which is another brilliant um, overclocking utility. EVG, EVGA Precision actually has quite a few benefits over MSI Afterburner, but the one that I actually like, and if we pull this up here, you'll be able to see it, is the frame rate target. I can set 66 FPS, which is the refresh rate of this monitor. Uh, it's overclocked using NVIDIA's um, control panel utility, which I'll show you how to do one day. Um, I can set it so it won't try and go above 66 frames per second. If you don't know what I mean by this, 
the, uh, the 700 series, the capital cores uh, on this generation, they boost to this uh, thing. So they'll, they'll be at 1150, which is the main uh, core speed for the GTX 770. If they need higher, they will boost to it. But if they if it's too hot, or whatever, it will boost back down or, or underclock itself. So we can set a frame rate target of 66 FPS, and it will do whatever it needs. It will go to the the max overclock which you set here, which would be like uh, 1.3 gigahertz, or it will scale it down to like 800 megahertz, depending on the game and its needs, which is awesome. So what I do is actually use these two in tandem, and it's just a great sort of way to use it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It helped you out. Leave a comment down below. I'll put again the link to the person who helped me out uh, channel in the description and a link to the download of the unlocked MSI Afterburner. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please check out uh, a few of my other videos and my Lightning Edition GTX 770 unboxing. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one.